U-Boot Beton is a formwork made of recycled plastic for the construction of voided two-way flat slabs to be cast on site. The slabs voided with U-Boot can be used for structural elements of different types, such as floor slabs or foundation rafts. This solution affords considerable designing, technical and economic advantages compared with the traditional clay or cement systems, those in lightweight polystyrene or fully casted two-way slabs. The traditional clay or cement or polystyrene floor slabs normally consist of monodirectional beams that discharge stresses onto the main beams, from these to the pillars and finally to the foundations. The full plate Floor slabs, instead, are made from monolithic reinforced concrete casts in which the structure is able to bidirectionally transmit loads directly to the pillars and from these to the foundations. By using U-Boot, a lighter slab structure is obtained, capable of splitting the stresses in any direction, transferring them directly to the pillars. To simplify the concept, we could imagine a series of double T-beams, one alongside the other and arranged as a trellis. All shear stresses will be concentrated close to the pillars, where a suitable full section gets left. In this way, floor slabs with mushroom-like pillars will be reproposed in modern keep, the specificity being that the mushroom is embedded in the floor slab surface. Jutting or encumbering capitals and uneconomic box girders can be avoided thanks to the lightness of the structure. Doing away with jutting beams facilitates the architectural freedom of the work, the passage of utilities and the layout of internal walls. U-Boot will make it possible to optimize the plan layout of pillars without having to keep to specific distributive limitations as well as reducing their number, benefiting from more extensive spans and without encumbrances. The overall thickness of the floor slabs will also be considerably reduced. And as a result, a useful saving in height will be obtained for each individual floor, with the possibility for tower buildings of gaining an extra floor with the same building volume. Compared with a full slab, the weight saving will favorably influence the dimensioning of pillars and foundations, allowing thicknesses to be reduced in both cases. The foundations will be less important and less stressed. Also, behavior under a seismic profile will greatly benefit. In case of fire, the building's greater lightness high inertia and reduced surface area exposed to the effects of heat confer optimum resistance to fire. From an acoustic viewpoint, specific tests guarantee that a floor slab with U-Boot technology provides insulation performances that are superior compared with the traditional clay or cement systems or lightweight polystyrene solutions. A benefit of no less importance is the better quality of the concrete surface finish to be left visible or ready for the skimming without further processing. To the numerous advantages linked to the work itself, economic, logistic and building site advantages are added for construction firms. Less processing, less consumption of concrete and steel, less handling on ground and over ground, less encumbrance within the perimeters of the site, less transport and storage charges, all thanks to a material that is stackable, tough and able to withstand all weather conditions. Personnel will be handling a product that is safe and light, non-soiling and easy to use. U-Boot is the ideal solution for all buildings in which jutting beams or structures would need to be avoided, where a typically slab solution is sought together with savings in both concrete and weight. The U-Boot Beton building system is particularly suitable for the construction of high-rise buildings hospitals, commercial centers, school buildings, parking, management, residential and industrial buildings.
In case of raft foundations, thanks to a greater inertia, U-Boot makes it possible to implement structures with a better performance, given the same concrete used. Where grounds are found to have a low carrying capacity, it will furthermore be possible to eliminate or reduce complex and costly foundation piles. Laying of voided two-way elements is swift and simple. The reinforcement and the U-boot elements are laid out on top of the decking according to design specifications, ready to receive the concrete casting. The layout does not require specialized personnel. The correct distance between the elements is assured by a spacer joint, equipped with a graduated scale by means of which the width of the beams being formed with the casting can be rapidly determined. At the top, this joint gets inserted in specific hooking protuberances provided on the upper surface of the U-boot. The entire operation is precise, handy and rapid. Once the concrete is poured, the voided structure is permanently embedded, providing the structure with the desired shape. On the technical timing for the setting having lapsed, the decking will be dismantled. The intrados surface will prove to be completely smooth. U-boot formwork can also be used in combination with predals, placing the voided load directly on the plates and completing the finishing casting. U-boot beton formwork is shaped like a pyramid trunk and normally measures 52 by 52 centimeters. In plan view, 10, 13, 16, 20, 24, 28 centimeters in height. The sandwich type superimposing Two or more base elements allows the implementation of load releasing elements of various heights according to the planned thickness of the floor slab. Also, the conical elevator feet placed at the four corners can be of different heights to determine a different distance from the casting deck plate and as a result a different thickness of the intrados slab. The remarkable versatility and flexibility of the U-Boot Beton construction system can satisfy any design demand. Since 2001, millions of U-Boot have been deployed in the implementation of works in various countries throughout the world. Works of various dimensions, types and complexity, often born of the pencil stroke and genius of famous designers.